Hello guys, welcome to this very exciting video. This is Argos Eye Cinema and today I will show you how to make this very simple but efficient cartoon video landscape animation. I used exactly this technique to create several cartoon music videos. For some examples check out the links under this video. Before we are starting I have a little message for you. If you are a passionate content creator dreaming about making yourself financial independent, you probably have already informed yourself about how to make a passive income so that you are more able to work on projects that you really like. If this is the case I have a little business idea for you. I will explain it in the end of this video. Let's not waste time and start. Create a new After Effects composition and import your cartoon models. I'm using Photoshop to make my models, but you can use any other graphics program that allows you to export with a transparent background. If you want to save a lot of time, you can buy my landscape bundle pack from my Gumroad store with the discount code ARGOSEYES for 20% off. Back to After Effects, I like to start with the sky. Drag and drop it from the project window to the composition. Make it 3D. Now we need to add a camera. Go on Layer, New and Camera. Choose your camera settings. For the most scenes it's good to have a landscape element that defines your horizon. In this case I'm using this landscape with hills and away. Now change the camera mode from Active Camera to Top, so you can see the scene from above. Move the sky layer far back on the z-axis and place the landscape layer a little bit in front of it. Switch back to active camera and adjust the size of your landscape elements so that they fit in the scene. Of course we want to add more elements. I'm adding this old tree from my cartoon landscapes kit to the composition. I want to place it exactly on top of the hill so I select the hill layer, press P to open the position settings and copy the position to the tree. Now it moves to the same position as the hill. If it's too small or too large you can easily adjust the size. Time for some foreground elements, so I'm adding this bush and make it 3D. It should be closer to the camera, so I'm moving it only a little bit back on the Z space. In this case I'm not happy with its shape, so I'm adjusting it a bit. I want to add more bushes, so I select the bush layer, duplicate it with Ctrl C and Ctrl V and move the new duplicated bush to the other side of the scene. Let's see what we have. I select the unified camera icon by holding it with the left mouse button and select Track Z camera tool. Now I can move the camera forwards and backwards in our scene. If you want to move the camera to the sides, hold the unified camera button with the left mouse button and select Track XY camera tool. I'm adding some more elements like these flowers. They should be the closest object to the camera so I move them a bit closer than the bush. I want to add some more flowers, so I duplicate them and rotate the duplicated flowers a bit so that they don't look exactly the same. I'm adding more elements from my cartoon landscape kit using the same techniques. I'm doing this so long until I'm happy with the look of the setting. If you like this video so far, please make sure to give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel and activate the bell. Now the setting looks good, but it's more a still image than a video sequence so far. This is where the camera setup comes in. I select the camera layer and activate the stopwatch for every value to add a keyframe for the camera position at the start of the timeline. Now I'm selecting the end of the timeline, add a position keyframe and move the camera with the XY camera tool to a new position. This adds some motion to the scene. I want to add some depth to the scene, so I activate the depth of field under the camera options and increase the aperture value. This gives us a nice blurry background. You can play around with the aperture and the level of blur until you like the look. I activate the stopwatch for every value under the camera options because I want to change the focus distance during the scene. By switching the depth of field between on and off you can see its impact. I'm adjusting the focal of distance so that our foreground is focused at the start of the scene. Now I'm going a bit further in the timeline, add a keyframe for the focus distance, go some frames forward and increase the focus distance until the background is in focus and the foreground is blurred. When I'm playing the scene the focus distance is now changing during the scene. 
In this case it's changing a bit too fast for my taste, so I'm moving the keyframes for the focus distance a bit backwards. To make the transition between horizon and sky a bit more realistic, I'm adding a new white solid, drawing a quick mask with the rectangle tool and increase the mask feather under the options of the mask. You can press F on your keyboard to quick access the mask feather. Now I'm done with the scene. If you want you can add more details like shadows, more elements or floating particles, but for the purpose of a quick tutorial I'm happy with it. The tutorial part of this video is done. Some of you might already waiting for the business idea I was talking about at the beginning of the video. If you are buying my cartoon landscape bundle or any others of my videos from my Gumroad shop, you are also getting the license to use them for commercial projects. You can use them to make projects for your own clients or you can use them to create stock footage videos for stock footage agencies like Blackbox. You don't know Blackbox? Blackbox is a stock footage agency. You can upload your videos as stock footage and Blackbox is sending it to stock footage providers. With every sale of your own stock videos you are earning a specific amount. Once the clips are uploaded they can generate a passive income for you. If you are interested in becoming a Blackbox member you can use the link in the description under this video. Even if you are not convinced that stock footage produced with my cartoon landscape clip would sell, the business idea is for you. You can create cartoon scenes with the same technique I used but with own drawn cartoon elements. I'm sure that the request for stock footage with cartoon elements will grow in the future. Please write me in the comments if you like the video or if you want to see some other tutorials. Furthermore, I'm always interested in your results, so feel free to send me your work. Thank you for watching, check out my other videos and my shop and see you next time.